Experian online credit disputing. Okay, does it work? And if it does, is it even worth it to do it? Stay tuned and I'm gonna be breaking that down in this video. What's up y'all, my name is Tommy Bobo, your credit and personal finance coach. If this is your first time on my channel, I just wanna say welcome. Uh, typically on this channel, I'm talking about things related to credit and personal finance. So if you're interested in achieving financial freedom and improving your credit, then be sure you hit the subscribe button down below so you don't miss any of my future videos. Now let's jump into how Experian's online dispute process works. Now I've heard a lot of negative talk about it uh, and even from kind of both sides. I've heard a lot of people say that you shouldn't dispute online because it's uh, you're kind of giving up your rights. And I've also heard other angles of people saying the only reason that people in the credit repair space are saying not to dispute online is because they know, you know, they, you pay credit repair people to send out letters. And if you're able to do it online, then it kind of cuts them out of the loop. Right. And, uh, I just want to come out and say, I think that the, uh, experience online disputing actually does work. you know, I've heard a lot of stories about it and even had some experiences with people uh, close to me using it and have, and they've had success as well. It just depends about how you're actually using it. And I think that's where the big difference is. Now, honestly, for me, I think that really, uh, the only things I would use their online disputing for was stuff that I knew had to be removed anyways, right? Something where, for example, things that they won't be able to verify verify uh for for example i'd say you know if any type if you have any inquiries that are more than two years old uh, any old accounts that should have been removed or maybe you even have like fraud accounts and things like that if you have anything that you know that even if you send a letter and they wouldn't try to contest it or anything like that then those are the good the types of things that you want to just go ahead and dispute online with them right because you already know it's it needs to get removed or you're you, you're not going to face any big of a hassle right if i have an account that it's on my account that's shown on my credit report and it's like nine years old and it should have been removed years ago then that's something that i would dispute online because i know that by me just pointing out the facts, they're going to remove it because they can see that it should have been by law should have been removed already. Right. So those are the kind of things that I would stick to whenever I'm disputing online. Now, if you're not sure and the scenario or the accounts that you have on your credit reports that you want to dispute, you know, that don't fit in any of those scenarios that I mentioned, then I think you're a lot safer just uh, disputing through mail. Right. It kind of gives you a lot more. You have a lot more freedom in terms of what you can say and how you can ask for certain things. And, uh, you know, you're also not giving up your rights. Right. And this is kind of a lot of things that that have been said in the industry is it has to do with giving up your rights. For example, if you're ever in a situation where you might need to, um, you know, pursue litigation or anything like that. Right. There's always going to be times and I've heard a lot of stories and even had some clients that have gone through it where, you know, the actual credit bureaus don't want to remove an account, even though you showed them proof that it needs to be removed. And typically it might even go as far as you need to file a, a lawsuit with a, um, a consumer rights attorney to be able to get that removed. Okay. But you know, if you're disputing online now, I don't typically dispute online. Um, but if you're disputing online, you got to be careful because it can be a situation where they have terms of conditions. Companies do it all the time. They all have terms of conditions. You know, you just hit a checkbox, um, saying that you agree to the terms. And next thing you know, now you've given up your right to a lawsuit and you have to go to mediation, which funny enough, it's like mediation is just pretty much you. It'll be you and the credit bureaus. Uh, and you're going to have to go to a lawyer that they've chosen. They, they pay for who's going to decide, um, he's going to rule basically hear both sides. And then he's going to decide in favor of whoever he thinks should be compensated or, uh, he's going to find a way to settle it pretty much. Right. And who do you think he's going to choose? He's probably going to choose the person who pays his bills, right? The, the where he's actually getting his paycheck, which is the credit bureaus. So that's kind of something to think about. That's why I prefer to only use, you know, only, uh, dispute online if it's you know like an old inquiry something I need to get taken off pretty quickly things like that but you can always use the regular disputing you uh, disputing through the mail because it gives you just a lot more uh, more a lot more flexibility another thing is you're not going to be able to really write down a, a reason where you're not pretty much admitting or kind of putting the, bur the burden of proof on your end right it could be situations where for example um, you know, you just want to ask them to verify, which I always recommend that that's what you start off with is you try to ask them to make sure everything's showing up correctly. You can't do that whenever you're disputing online. They want you to give a reason as in like this account's not mine or this account's showing inaccurate, whatever it is. Right. And at that point, they just have to prove you wrong. And then the account's staying on there and they're not really, they're going to try to 
you know, any, any other requests that you send them, they're going to just mark it as kind of frivolous and they're not really going to take any action on it. So I always want to first ask them to verify that everything's showing up correctly. And then I can disprove them from there. You can't really, you, I mean, you, you, sure can't do that online, right? That's something that you want to do uh, yourself through a letter. Okay. So that's kind of the scenario. If it's not a situation where you can get it removed immediately, right? If it's not something old, then you want to make sure that you're going through letter to do it. Okay. Now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to jump into my uh, computer and show you guys exactly how it looks online and walk you through how to actually go about setting it up and everything like that if you do decide that you want to dispute online but before we jump into it if you are in a situation where you uh have other types of accounts that you're dealing with whether it's like collections accounts uh hard inquiries um you know late payments things like that i have shot uh, videos breaking down all that stuff even bankruptcies repos so on and so forth you can check those out in the description below also, I'll put it down in the comments. Uh, they're basically going to be videos breaking down how to do all those things step by step that you can follow along with to be able to get those handled and removed from your credit as well. Now, let's go ahead and jump into my computer and I'm going to break down exactly how you go through the form. All right, y'all. So the first thing you want to do is once you um, get on your computer, open a browser, you just want to go to Experian.com, their main page, and you just want to sign up. So um, I know they make it kind of vague, but if you see any button that says things like, yes, let's go um you know all these you want to just go ahead and click on it see how it's at, at the top over there it says sign up for free yeah this is pretty much what you want to do guys i want to make sure that you know whenever you sign up don't make sure that you're not signing up for experian boost they're more than, they'll more than likely try to get you to sign up for that but i recommend you just say you don't want the experian boost okay if at all possible uh, but you do need to have an account because all your anytime you do any disputes, it's going to run through your account. OK, so I already went ahead and logged into my account. And what I'm going to do is you want to scroll down to the very bottom here. I'm at the bottom of the page and you want to click where it says disputes guide. OK, that's going to take you to the sessions where you're actually going to be able to do the actual disputing. So once you click that, the next thing you want to do is you want to hit the visit the dispute center. And guys, remember, you want to do this as you're logged in, because if you don't do it, if you're not logged in, and you try to do this, you're it's going to pretty much take you back and have you create the account. So you want to create that account first. And as you can see on this page here, it kind of pretty much just gives you the instructions, giving you an idea, you know, um, find a disputable item. Uh, we'll contact the data furnisher and results are delivered here within 30 days okay by email so that is the plus um they, it's gonna it'll come faster than it would if you mailed it just because it doesn't have all that mail time but they still have to respond you, to you within 30 days right but the like like you've heard which is uh, in my opinion it's true depending on what you're disputing it can actually be um they can actually fix it a lot faster than that right there's depending on what the issue is, especially if it's something that should have been removed from your credit a long time ago, it's quite possible that they might remove it after a couple hours or 24 hours, whatever it is, right? Just depending on when you're actually inputting the information, okay? But anyways, you wanna hit on start a new dispute. Now, keep in mind, again, like what I mentioned before is, this is only gonna affect things that are on your Experian credit report, okay? It's not gonna show you everything. So you wanna be looking for things that are specifically on your Experian account. A credit report not the other ones if you have like a hard inquiry or something that you're trying to remove off of the other accounts or you have like a collection account you're trying to get removed from the other accounts you're gonna have to do that separately than you are doing this so once you hit that you can then scroll down and just choose whatever information that you want to dispute um, as you can see here, it looks like I, I even have a new account added on my thing. So I could technically try to dispute this. And so it'll give me a bunch of reasons in terms of, uh, or give me a bunch of information about the account down below. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be up here on the top and I'm gonna just click and choose a reason in terms of disputing. Again, it's gonna give you only set reasons that you can choose to dispute, right? And so you kind of want to just choose whatever reason makes sense. Um, I typically say, like, again, there's specific types of people who would be disputing 
online. And I think it normally it's going to be a situation where like you're choosing either like identity theft, um, maybe, you know, it could even a corporate account. Maybe it's an account that's not supposed to be yours, things like that. Um, those are the kind of things that you want to dispute on Un unauthorized charge. That, that could be another thing, especially if it's, um, if it's, uh, that's kind of another version of fraud pretty much. But in my honest opinion, majority of these other ones probably won't work, right? If you do something like not mine, no knowledge of the account, that's one where they literally just have to prove that it was your account, which can easily be done. Um, they just, they're going to reach out to that company and ask them if they're sure it was you who did it. And the company's obviously going to say yes. And then boom, it's going to be disputed. So this is again, more so you want to make sure that it's something that's outdated and should have been removed. Um, it's a, like a fraud account or it's even, uh, like old inquiries that should have been removed, which is just another account that's, that's outdated, right? Those are the kind of things that you want to dispute, but I will show you, uh, I'm just going to click one here and then, uh, we could take a look and see how everything looks. Okay. Let me just say that I decided to click uh, not mine. Actually, let's go with another one, like account paid in full. And then just like that, you'll see it'll ask you just if you want to add additional information. Uh, once you do that, you just hit next. And that's pretty much it. You're done at that point, right? This is another one that's going to be able to be disputed. So a lot simpler. I think even before it was a little longer than this. But yeah, as you can see, it's really simple. They keep it literally that's it right and you however many you want to do at once you just click all of them and do them here i recommend you do it all at once so you don't have to come back and then you hit the submit dispute button and that pretty much takes care of it okay so that's the good thing is they really make it as simple as possible for you and um yeah that's pretty much the gist of it right uh after about 30 days yeah i think about 30 days you should get a response but depending on what you're disputing it might even be faster than that um but yeah, that's going to be the, the gist of it. Now, I haven't looked into and I will look into the other two credit bureaus to see if they have started doing like online disputes type things. But um, this is really the main one that, you know, I've at least been getting uh, getting a lot of requests and asked about by a ton of you guys. So I figured I'd do something about or do a video on it just to let you guys know. But I know that's going to be pretty much the gist of it, man. So I think with this video, and kind of what I've broken down for you guys, y'all should have an idea who this is best for. Right. And what scenarios make sense for you to use Experian uh, online disputing. So there's cases where it does work, but there's also a lot of cases, probably even more cases where it doesn't. And that's kind of just what I touched on. So that's going to be pretty much it for this video, guys. Be sure you check down in the description, different links and resources to be able to help you out whenever you are working towards improving your credit. And I will see you at the next one.